and we need your help. Alrighty, we got the truck on blocks, jack stands, etc, etc, so we could weld in our, see if we can get this on camera, transmission mount. That's how I did my transmission mount, off that second cross member. I've got a weld up top here on top but I'm gonna take the transmission and motor back out and get that from the inside of the truck probably that is it what we've got to work on next off camera what we've got to work on next getting some exhaust work done so I chopped off the flanges on the truck manifolds. We're not gonna run turbo. That's gonna be too much trouble and more money than what I wanna spend right now. So, we're gonna run our exhaust manifolds, flip them back normal, cut the flanges off. Like I said, this side's got a lot more room on it. I'm gonna trim that just a little bit right in there get it clear of that frame then I'm gonna trim this side here probably a couple inches just so I can start my bend a little sooner All right so these exhaust manifolds best I could gather at the where I cut the flange off was roughly two and a half inches so from Speedway Motors but I got it through Amazon some reasons Amazon showed two and a half inch, but Speedway Motors on their site did not show the two and a half inch. So I got it through Amazon, but it came from Speedway. Two of these do hickama jiggers. Bunch of bins, two and a half inch bins. What we're gonna do with these. weld them to our exhaust manifolds. So we're going to trim that up and find out which bins we got to get to get this down and around the transmission, the starter, frame. We got to wiggle it all in there. So I got these. These were about 50 bucks. I'll try to put the exact amount in at some point in the video. There's multiple ways to do this, okay? This is how I'm doing it. This is what I had money-wise for at the time. So, and I wanted to work on this truck. Uh, so, that's what we're gonna do next. All right, to weld this tubing, which is two and a half inch, I wanna run two and a half all the way out the back. Two and a half inch pipe muffler pipe. Welding that with flux core is kind of a pain in the butt. I prefer to weld it with the bottle. So we had to go get a bottle refill. All right, here's the technique we're gonna be using. I've got a piece of coat hanger. Clothes line, clothes hanger. My thinking is, 
I can get this on tape. So I shorten this up just a little bit. And I've got to get this. Get this marker out of my mouth. I'm going to take this coat hanger and I'm going to bend it towards the center of where I want this thing to go. I want this thing to go straight down through there. It's got to go between that torsion rod and the frame. So I'm going to manipulate this clothes hanger representing the center of the pipe. Make my marks, measurements, get it close, match it up to my pipe. The best angle on here and go from there. All right, first piece is welded in. Got some good penetration. I did some wide overlap and welds. I'm gonna smooth it out just a little bit, but I don't wanna take too much off. Just clean it up a little bit. All right, not the most beautiful mist piece. but it will work. I still have to come plug this hole here. Clean that up, plug that hole. We may clean this, some of this more surface rust off and paint these with some high heat, but it probably won't be long before they're back to rusted. So, slap this in, show you what we got. It goes in. Is it on now? Yeah. Hi, folks. They can't see you from there. You're going to have to get in front of the camera. Oh. Why are you supposed to be? Hi, Ted. And folks. Anyways. Yeah, anyways. Driver's side. Manifold is done. Okay, y'all, uh, I'm gonna be right back. When I go, you're gonna say he's gonna be, I'm gonna be right back. Is it on now? Yeah. Hi, folks. Dad and me are trying to work on this car. Right? Yeah. But it's not done yet. Passenger side manifold is done. Yeah, it's gonna be my car and dad. Dad. Driver side dad, manifold is these? done. Dad, are you using these tools? I don't know if we can get in there and focus. Am I allowed in that one? Am I? Anyways, it's back there. Am I? In here. No. There's sharp edges and rust that we gotta clean out. 
All right, let's try to get a view. I got this side over here all jacked up. There's that side. There's the side over there. Uh, me and Dad got this work. Right? Right. So we got it to where we can get to it easily. Probably put us an H pipe in here somewhere and then run them all back out the back. What I'm thinking of getting is two Black Widow uh, mufflers. They're called uh, neighbor haters because they're really loud and your neighbors will hate you. My neighbor's over there somewhere. You think Mr. Stan will love us? Yeah, dude. <laughs> he maybe wants his car to be wild if he sees our car wild. He's going to go like, oh my god, I want to go out. car. He's going to like say, can we shed car? Alright, we're going to call it a weekend. We're going to call this a video. I uh, got both manifolds mostly done. I'll probably clean them up with a brush. May find some high heat paint to paint them so they don't rust as quickly. Um, may smooth some stuff out on those. I think the second one went better as far as welding. I got the, the uh, welder fine tuned for that thin of metal. Uh, the first one, I mean, they're good, good welds. They're solid welds. They're hauled, not dirt daubers. I've seen way worse, um, but they don't look like TIG welded stainless steel professional, but they're good and solid. Okay, I went ahead and mounted my computer box and my transmission computer box, engine and trans computer boxes. I'm going to mount them in the motor. That's where a lot of the uh, stock ones get mounted. Um, you'll see some people will mount them under the dash. Uh, I'm not really worried about it. These are pretty resilient. Uh, they got weatherproof connections. I don't see a lot of water in here, but uh, I kind of got it as far back from the motor as possible with the heat. So that's in. I'll probably take it back out, but we got it. I wanted to get everything welded in here that I needed to. So we take this motor out one more time. We'll clean up this engine bay. Get rid of whatever wiring harness we don't need from the original Nissan. So we've got uh, we've got fuel injectors. We don't need those. We'll get rid of those. Any wires that we don't need. I'm going to keep the lights, so figure out which wires go to lights, figure out which wire goes to the horn, probably figure out which wire goes to the ignition starter, uh, any other wire for sensors for the original motor, injectors, um, those wires we're going to get rid of, get them out of here, get it cleaned up, and then we will get started on the harness for this motor. We've got a lot of weeding to do on this wiring. There's a bunch of wires that got to come out. They don't all get used. Uh, you'll have the Tahoe had um, I'm assuming ABS was in that wiring harness. 
a uh, bunch of sensors you don't need for this. So I'm going to go get that harness and let you see what we're working with just for the sake of it. Would you look at all of that? This I really don't think I need. If I want to run, ever want to run AC or cruise control, I will probably have to have this. This is the body module computer, I guess. Actually says ABS on there too. That might just be plastic. I don't know. So I don't think I'm going to need this unless I want some creature comforts down the road. This is the original, one of the original fuse boxes, I think. I don't know how that worked. Anyhow, I pulled it out of the Yukon anyways. Uh, we shouldn't need that though. Here is the original, original fuse box that goes into the Yukon. See what a big cluster that is. Um, you can either run this, you could find a spot for this and run this whole gigantic, ginormous fuse block holder that came out of the original Yukon. We're going to get rid of this. This whole box is going to go bye-bye. You see how many wires we got. Bunches and bunches of wires. But a lot of this will go bye-bye. So, that will be for another day. I don't know if I'll do a video video on that. I'll probably do a little bit of a time lapse on that. But I got to go through all that. This is the stuff that went to the cab inside. I imagine most of that will go bye-bye. But here's the two that connect to our computer that we dismounted. So a, lot of, a couple of those wires go bye-bye. Anyways. So, thanks for watching. We're wrapping it up this weekend.